Like British or yeah, like we're all British. <laughs> <laughs> Every all single one of us. Brits, yeah. Pies yeah. Perth, yeah. <laughs> With an Aussie, Aussie icon as a logo. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right. Cheers, Soul Bliss. <laughs> so, episode 144? 144. Okay. I haven't done this in a while, so mm. tonight we got Paul and Chris. <laughs> we, got, we got your names right, right yeah. this time. <laughs> <laughs> After, like, what? third time yeah like, and messaging backwards and forwards yeah. and the whole shit like, should have brought my name badge <laughs> that's it i think in the future we'll actually start doing that everyone gets like a little sticky yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like first day that. first day of school all over that's it. That's it. so you guys are yanji baits mm. that's correct yes that, that's correct yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. so what is yanji baits then <laughs> let's dive straight i'll, let, I'll let you go on that one that's it well um it was created in a place called yanji okay so, Where's just, Yanjibup? You don't know where Yanjibup is? I, um, yeah, 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 it's, it's down in, yeah, it's it's down do. in Coburn. Down oh, in Coburn. Do, do you know how often I get this question as well? People are like, <laughs> yeah, what is Yanjibup? Like, what the fuck is Yanjibup? <laughs> and I'm like, That's man, it's, it. a long, it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we just come up with a name. And it seemed like it, mm. it worked. Yeah, yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the yeah. mecca of Perth. Yeah. So it was just from a party? or like No. How did it... Because yeah. you throw events, you throw, yep. you throw in a rave, like, you, yeah, you, you do a whole bunch of stuff, right? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Like it was, it was just, it was just, uh, it was myself and my housemate. We were just sort of like sat in the garden, and uh, we just said, you know, it'd be so cool to sort of like bring all the fun stuff that we've said in our life together mm. and just create this, like, you know, this night really. So, but really at the start, it was more of a. We just wanted to do like a podcast. Like mm. we sort of learned how to, um, for a, a good mate of mine called Geffen. He sort of yeah, shout uh, out to Geffen. Yeah, yeah. good Geffen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I sort of, I sort of said to him, I said, mate, you know, I'd, I'd love to learn how to sort of like stream. You know, mm. would you show me uh, or show us? And um, and yeah, and we just sort of did the first podcast uh, in the kitchen. What was um, it? What was it? Just called Yanji Beats. Just podcast. Yanji Beats. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, mm. nice. yeah. and, and we right. used something called Bad Lab. Um, which probably no one's ever heard of, hence why we're not on it anymore. Band um, Lab? Band, Band Lab. Band yeah, Lab, okay. Band Lab, yeah. Mm. So, no, never heard of it. You know, and this, <laughs> was, this was in like December 19, so this is before. It was pre-COVID, wasn't it? Yeah, mm. pre-COVID. It was almost Nobody, perfect. Nobody really yeah. streamed, like before before COVID, there was like very few people <laughs> like, yeah. running streams. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we did, I think we did two episodes. We said, oh, we just started off monthly sort of thing, and we just sort of rotate sort of like Craig would start first and then sort of I would, I, I, I would start and then so it was just music like podcast music it was or? just yeah mm. it was just it was just our love of trance really yeah, so okay. um you know and, and even in one of them like my mum was there so you know it was, <laughs> it, was, it, was it was super sort of like, so it was with video as well then yeah video yeah yeah okay, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah and then um and then after the second one that that's when sort of COVID hit so yeah. and then things just like accelerated really really quickly because everyone was just sort of stuck at home and they mm. were like looking for music so mm. um so then we just did we did like an easter easter special and a few other podcasts it was a bit of a blessing really like when you think about it like that's mm. really what took it off because yeah. the um the streams at the time like like you say everybody was at home everybody wanted to experience clubbing but they couldn't get out of the house yeah and then you had the idea of getting like a as many people together as you technically could at the time yeah, without breaking um, the law yeah <laughs> without breaking the law yeah. um and then we did like a little mini kind of 
thing where like there was five of us i think we just did like a a long night set and everybody was tuned into it and it just that i think that really kind of helped kick it off yeah yeah mm. and then um so we, so we did i think we did five five podcasts in one of them i didn't realize this but my liver was starting to fail i've got some sort of weird right legit virus. yeah completely legit right. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> go, to pod, go to podcast five and strangely enough it was i've got a love for like all music really but when i was growing up it was it was sort of like classic trance and hard house and mm. i was like i really want to do a hard house hard trance set can we but, pull it up i want, yeah, I want to say yeah. it's, are you actually like sitting there just like in the corner well, like going green <laughs> literally the following the following day yeah, yeah okay. so um we also you know it was uh, yeah it was it was hard you know and, and i was so unprepared as well i remember i was downloading all these uk hard house tracks while Craig was mixing and I'm playing afterwards sort of thing and and some of the files were like corrupted and stuff it was it was yeah it was a bit of a nightmare near, near mm. the end so a little message to everyone make sure you're prepared but yeah. like <laughs> during the episode though can you just see yourself like getting um, thicker I can, and thicker yes. yeah, <laughs> yeah and you strange, can yeah. yeah well strangely enough it was going so well and I, I felt a bit ill that day mm. um that, that Craig said you know do you want to have a beer and I was like yeah sure and that was what sent me over the edge and really one beer yeah and then okay. Yeah, well, it's just I was, pain, I was, or? Yeah, I was in hospital for a bit, and I was mm. off work for two weeks. I'm, Shit. I'm, yeah, yeah. So, what did, what but, was it? What virus was it? They actually didn't. They actually didn't know what it was, and I had all these like you know tests on me and stuff like that. So yeah, okay. it, it, it's a bit of a running joke, really. So that you know that you know. But like, was it the was it the first? It was the first ball party that you were. You just yeah. kind of got back, wasn't it? No. You were, no. You were, still, you were still sick, no. though. So, no, no, it wasn't. That was, so that, that was in May. And then yeah. I got something called Bell's Palsy. Oh, Do you know that's, what Bell, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Bell's Palsy. Bell's Palsy. Oh, I like it yeah. how this has now turned into like, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, a health thing. Yeah, Bell's Palsy. So, yeah, what so the hell is Bell's, called, Bell's so George, Palsy? George, yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> shit. He fucked that. I got that. I got that on Boxing Day. I got that on Boxing Day. And were you out partying and just like kicked in? No, no, I was literally just at home but we had like uh i think it was our first vote party yeah yeah like, it was because yeah. you were like kylie was like nah because yeah. I, I was trying to get you to do kick cotton so yeah, like, yeah as it, always and it was like and I, I even took myself off of playing because i was it was like i'm not well enough and as soon as i took myself off the lineup i started to get my face started to come back to life again oh really so i managed to get on on the boat and lucky enough because because Brad played a shorter set that he didn't realise. He only played 40 minutes, not an hour. I oh, got 20 yeah, minutes you jumped in. in. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, what was that. the boat party? Like, was it for Yanji Bates? Or, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So that mm. was event three, wasn't it? Yeah, was yeah we'd, run, we'd run a couple before the boat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, what about event two and event one? Like, what was your first start from first event? First start. So how it went. So obviously we did the five podcasts where on the fifth one I almost died and then come back to life again. And it was that's when COVID sort of lockdown ended. Mm. So, what um, like the stage one, the phase one, or whatever the hell it was? Or? Yeah, the it, first, was, it was still a bit one. touch and go, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Like a, there was a time I remember mm. we were organising events, and it was still mm. kind of like, oh fuck, I don't, I don't know whether it's worth like how it's going to go. Yeah, because yeah. people were still in that state of like they just mm. didn't know. And exactly. Mm. Some so people just didn't. Yeah, 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 that's it. So it was kind of a, it was a bit risky, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, and and while that, so obviously Craig and I started <clears> this, but then Tyrrell came into the mix at that point in time and he must have he must have seen that you know this this was going to go somewhere mm, yeah. <laughs> and and that that's when he was like you know you know maybe we should like take take this out to a club or something and i was like so on the i remember training into work the first day from lockdown i thought well you know bars are going to be like you know struggling mm. sort of thing so i just thought like, I'll, just, I'll just walk into a bar and just say look you know can we can we put on like a free night i said you know obviously and then if it, if it goes well which it will mm. um then you know you're you're asked for us to come back i just thought we'd just put all our eggs in one basket and uh yeah and then we did uh, the debut the debut of the, of the mm, room yeah yeah, yeah 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 and so what was it quite busy and like did it go off yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 we had i think we had about i think we had about 150 in there didn't yeah. we so really how uh, big was the venue oh uh, like, it was the sewing rooms oh it was the sewing rooms, rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah 150 yeah, in sewing rooms was, not yeah, bad it was fast. good yeah. yeah it was good and uh, the, i think the issue was was when we i think we cranked it so much that everyone left the bar so 
And I remember on like on the first night, and it was also hard. It's hard on everyone in the music scene back 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 then. But if people are not spending money and stuff like that, and I remember we sort of had to sort of finish a bit earlier, sort of thing. Yeah, they cut him. Who's who was on that night? Sam Decker. Uh, Sam, yeah, Sam that's Decker. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So and that, even that was quite funny. So obviously Craig and I and Craig had never had even played in a club before this point. So yeah, okay. you know, so I was like, Craig, like you're playing in front of 150 people. So yeah. um, <laughs> how did he go? Was he all right? Yeah, he was yeah, fine. He was good, yeah, huh? smashed yeah. it. Smashed he mixed, it. Craig's mixed for years. Yeah. And he's mixed. We we used to hold like some doofs like before Yarns beat. So he has mm. mixed in front of a crowd, but it's like friends kind of thing. Like you mm. mix him with 20, 30, 40 people. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like right in the middle of a club with 150. He's like, <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys have thrown a few doofs before? Did you, did you no, know? not, not for Yarns beat. It was yeah, a, a separate another thing. thing. Yeah, but yeah. What was the separate thing? It was just like, just. Oh, uh, well, it's funny actually, because that's, I might as well go into that because that's yeah. how I met Craig. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Craig, the other guy that's part of um, Yanch Beats, he founded it with Paul. Mm -hmm. um, so we strangely, like we lived back home. So back home for me is like Belfast. Yeah. So we lived like, like Belfast and uh, Northern Ireland. And Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Okay. Okay. Scotland, yeah. close. Yeah. Close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So like we're literally like a 15 minute drive apart. Mm. And then we knew the exact same friends network. And then just randomly at a night out in Perth, maybe like seven, eight, nine years ago, mm. we bumped into each other. And I was like, fuck, I'm pretty sure I know this guy. Yeah. And then we, small world. Yeah, yeah. And then we started talking. And at that time, I I just recently um got into music in Perth. Mm. And we had our own little kind of collective group of people that we we kind of knew online, but we'd never really met. So we thought, fuck it, we'll, we'll host a house party, have people over for a mix. Mm. That then turned into this like really good little like network of friends who then started to host like doofs. Yeah, okay, and then yeah. that's how Craig got involved. So he came, he came to the doof with us. Um, he kind of cut his teeth mixing at that. So he had been mixing, but he, I don't think he'd been mixing in front of anybody. Yeah, live, live. Yeah. yeah and at that point I didn't realize Craig was his housemate. So then this <laughs> yeah. is this is how we kind of connect. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. yeah. So yeah, it's 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 all kind of just per, you know Perth, like everybody knows everybody. So yeah, it's so all yeah. kind of like intertwined. Yeah. So we we ran those doofs. Um, Craig played a couple of those, and then yeah. then yeah, that's that's pretty much yeah, it. And, and Craig's also set up something called Freedom Flows as well, where he's sort of mixing. Flows. Yeah, so it's more sort of like I guess um, it's a holistic kind of lifestyle thing. He's yeah. he's very much about um, like breath work and. Yeah. He's, yeah, like health, mind, and soul. Kind yeah, of. yeah, he's, he's quite mm. a spiritual, dude. Um, and he's he's launched this thing that he really he's really passionate about, and it's it's actually mm. really mm. when you talk to him, it's exciting to actually listen to him talk about mm. it because he's got so much passion for it. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's yeah, that's the avenue. He mixes. It is. I think he does like a the back end of the session, so they do like breath work and they have a bit of a chat, mm. and then he actually brings music into it as well. So mm. that's where he brings his like his kind of soul and spirit into it. Mm. Yeah, okay. um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds yeah. right though. Yeah. Like, yeah. Freedom, flow, freedom, freedom, yeah. freedom flow. Free, yeah, freedom yeah, yeah. flow. But yeah. see, that's, the, that's you know, when you talk mm. to someone that's so passionate about Oh, they something. can be talking about anything. Yeah. As long yeah. as they've got passion, it's that's like, it. this, mm. this is You're cool. just talking and then it's like hours and hours yeah. and hours about ins and yeah. outs and this and that. And yeah. 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 It's so interesting, that kind of and, stuff. And yeah. it's, it's actually quite funny because we've always, we've just carried on doing the streaming. Mm. So obviously, you know, people would, even in the early stages, like the third, the first event, people on the East Coast, or we've also got a really good mate called Evan, who's based over in New Zealand. I've yeah, okay. also got mates in the UK. Mm. They're like, well, we well, we still want to watch it. We, we want to be part of this. We've been here from the start. So mm. we thought, well, you know, we're just film like, you know, the, the DJ part in the booth. So, which has actually been quite funny because you actually get to see all the stuff that goes wrong. You know, yeah. like even on the opening night, like I feel so sorry for Tyrrell who has to open because yeah. we're literally building around still him. Still working around him, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, mixing him, we're like still up. setting stuff yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. No and shit. I remember yeah. on the first night, I knocked a laser onto the CDJs and it went into reverse <laughs> like that. And then Tyrrell's like, that doesn't sound right. And I was like, <laughs> it's, you know, so, but like, he's actually used to it now. So, yeah, he is. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's all just fun and games, right? And yeah. Just like yeah. setting it's up all part of events. Yeah. 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 And especially, especially with you, man, like not, nothing bad, but it's like, it's always last minute. It's yeah. like, and it just, it works every time. I don't know how it fucking stresses me out. It does work, doesn't it? Yeah. But it works. It, it comes, work. it comes together perfectly. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that was sort of like the first, the first one. And then we were like, you know, let's try and do a second one. And sort, and sort of see and we thought well we'll just 
keep going down the free route, you know, sort of, sort of thing. Like, we just enjoy doing music. Like, we're not in this for the money. We just, yeah. we just want to have a good but a That's good the time. way to do it, though, because, like, mm. to be able to make money out of doing events, sometimes mm. it's so hard. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. just, like, you got to really, like... Of everything. Yeah, the skill you have to go to would just yeah. be, like, huge. Yeah. That's it. And you have yeah. to really tap into the right market. And Perth mm. is in such a weird bubble, honestly. Mm. Yeah. But it's, like, you yeah. can still go to the bar and, like, you know, hear Flo Ride a lot. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I oh, think yeah. anyone who comes to our events, they see, like, we hand out free glow sticks, you know, we try know, to make it fun it's we not make it's, it yeah, fun. yeah yeah you know and we try it's not and a standard do... kind of club night like you say you go into like somewhere in subi or mm. wherever you are it's like it's it's very different from what you would get if you walk into like a regular club night mm. yeah. um there's always a theme or there's always mm. there's was there's always something that's just a bit out of the ordinary and it just makes it more fun it relaxes people and then yeah yeah because yeah. what genre is it it's it's house and it's a, it's a bit of everything yeah it, it's a bit of, like it's mainly it's mainly trance yeah. so yeah so i you know are we all sort of we, we've all got a strong at some point in our lives we've been you know sort of we're all affiliated to trans yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah you know when I mean, we've all got a passion for it you know so i try to steer him a bit more housey and techno -y and he <laughs> just pulls me back and <laughs> no, 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 no no he doesn't i got it in fairness yeah this one out <laughs> i'll tell you the story this this is our story so on on the boat party he said can we ever play techno at a at, at a Yajibits event and I was like oh maybe one day maybe on a on like a different a different a different stage <laughs> yeah. then next thing he's asking how do I get the trance set and then finally you got the trance set mm. at the second birthday yeah yeah, yeah. And smash it yeah so, yeah, yeah. So. I know I've, I've I still love it I do it's yeah. just not um it's not at the forefront anymore yeah so yeah, how often right. do you throw events uh look we try because they're very like they're very big mm. um we try and do it every 10 10 weeks or so yeah. oh really so, yeah yeah sort of like you know that's a good distance though because yeah, instead of being every fortnight or yeah. once a month or something like that mm, and trying yeah. to build you know that hype if you do it every mm. 10 weeks you just make the yeah. event and build the hype from that and i then think the might the effort that the djs go into as well it's like yeah i wouldn't want it anymore like exactly. any like everybody puts such an effort into it like and this is mm. i think this is why it's been such a success is because everybody takes it like so serious like everybody mm. just levels up for it mm. so like if i was having to do that like every three yeah. weeks four weeks i'd be like dude this is like i'll be divorced <laughs> <No, laughs> yeah. yeah. i literally just spend my whole time in the music room just like trying to get ready for a set it's like <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah but then how many djs do you have on your lineup usually and how many do you have in your in your bank as well like yeah look we've got in the residence we've got is it six six yeah, yeah. six okay. six at the moment oh well, i think we've had about 25 local yeah, local sure. so yeah so of, of mm. the of the t 10 11 events that we've done it's mainly been local uh local based except for the next one that's coming up so yeah um you know sort of thing so yeah i can see why you wanted to have like you know try, try and get a second stage or something yeah like that. yeah so you got 25 people it's like it, yeah, yeah you can play oh but i haven't well, played it's yet just, <laughs> it's like with anything as soon as you start something people start sending you in mixes you know mm. and some people say oh, i want to play for you and then you say we'll send in a mix so we always say send in a mix and it's not to test how well you can mix mm. it's more to say well what is your what is your passion what's yeah, your to style see if, to, see if you, to see if you fit the yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. the music yeah. that's yeah. the best way to do it as well because yeah. you know. it's like you know someone sends a mix you don't listen to it you put yeah. them on well yeah. that's rhythm yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or well, dubstep or something but this like. is this is the thing that i really admire about what you've done is like mm -hmm. we've been able to build a brand by just using local like talent like we mm -hmm. haven't had to rely on booking internationals to get people to come to the events it's like we've built literally a brand around locals but see that's why it's so interesting with perth because mm. like five years ago longer than five years ago but when you used to have like you know breakfast and well i mean breakfast obviously isn't around anymore but like origin and all these different events and festivals mm. and stuff like that there will be internationals yeah, yeah but yeah. now perth after covid it's just like you can have locals and yeah. it goes off, it goes off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i like the last the last few years have been great obviously mm. like you know we, we work very closely with like concept as well like, yeah shout out to jay yeah, yeah yeah you know jay and beck um mm. and obviously we've got bioma as, as well and above all else and, that. and it's, it's a really good scene at the moment everyone's sort of mm. working together you know, we're all sort of like you know checking with each other if events are on at the same time or mm. whatever else and do we have any comments at all demo yeah, see if you're gonna pull them up yeah so um that's the way to do it though yeah yeah you know and it's just good and that and that's it when but when people have started to send in these mixes and we've started to see them all okay. we've gone like you know these these people well, no, just just leave it up there Mm. these people were like you know um like super super talented you yeah. know yeah, never mind. We're like, that's um, exactly it. 
Podcast. Sick of Kylie's it's coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> my... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. my fiance. So <laughs> I, I will say that none of this would have been able to happen if it wasn't for her support, yeah, right? That's, that's so true. yeah, massively. Yeah. No, I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, to be, yeah, yeah. So, but no, it, it is. And it, to be fair, it's you know, it's she is a very tol tolerant woman. <laughs> yeah, she is. She is. She but puts like, up with a lot. Do you have afters at yours sometimes? And then Look, like, wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not not as much now. Okay, um, yeah. At the start, who yes. does the mopping? Do you the, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, but like, it's, it's a funny story because most events, it's more, it's more of a, a, a team thing, except mm. for the second birthday when we did the Yanja bus. Yeah. Um, everyone, mm. obviously, that was when all the COVID come back again for the second time, and you know, as, as you know, the Perth, the Perth scene was sort of dead, and yeah. we couldn't, we couldn't put on gigs, and that just gave me three months to come up with this crazy idea, with no sort of like boundaries on it yeah. so and i just went a bit ballistic on yeah. it yeah so, it's, it's, it's a yeah. yeah so what you was know. the yanja bus then the yanja bus so the, look I, I love the <laughs> idea like you know in in iv for there's a place called Ma manumission and basically manumission and also why i love it so much is that you go you go somewhere with not knowing where it is or what, not not where where it is who's playing and if you actually just go there to be entertained mm. so i come up with this idea that would have like three different places where people would meet jump on jump on a bus and be whisked away to somewhere where they just don't know mm. um and what we did was when you got on the bus we started the stream in the secret venue um and then obviously everyone would arrive at the same time so instead of going to like a warehouse where people would trickle in away for out mm. 200 people would just turn up and then when it sounds we... like a, that sounds like bad news for the bartender. This is like you look outside and like oh, holy shit. No, nah, this, yeah, well, this, this 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 one was a warehouse. Yeah, so, yeah, oh, okay, that's yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So we, um, you know, and and then I was like, how how are we gonna dress? How are we gonna dress this ten by mm. twelve meter room? You know, mm. so it's just got a black curtain on it. Mm. So we come up with this idea of buying the glow in the dark tent rope and making a hundred and hundred fifty meter net. And having it tied up by six trestles and then having uv lights putting uv glow uh, tape yeah. on the floor yeah. do you have any Which, pictures of this that sounds oh, amazing dude, yeah yeah it was, honestly like the setup <laughs> like i've i've been clubbing for like 20 20 years yeah, yeah. dude it was like it was <laughs> up there with like some of the craziest things yeah, yeah. that sounds like such it, was, an yeah, it, was, like, it was insane massive. how long did it take yeah. to build look like... we did it over two weekends mm. two weekends um I, I, it was more the pack down mm. you know and this is why i've got so much sort of love for my fiance because <laughs> she was like what do you want me to do before and i was like don't worry don't worry i'll get you involved i'll get you involved yeah and, and then it was like right i need your help now because <laughs> yeah. i've got this down and like it's finished now we've got to mop it up and, like blessed we were both there on a, the day afterwards mopping the floor we're still, really? we're still getting videos like days days later like still packing shit away in the van and taking like, taking yeah. toilets away and stuff like so that that would be the perfect time to actually like take little stills of just like yeah. Yeah, seeing the actual cleanup over the couple of days yeah and just like looking yeah. back and like yeah yeah. It's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. And, I think it, I think she uh, she kind of pulled your head in after that one and was like, "Oh <laughs> yeah, massively, Matt, yeah. everything's checked now, everything's <laughs> checked and signed off." So, yeah. um, but then I we also did something new as well, where because we started at seven, I was like, you know, there was um, I think there was something going on in Fremantle, so I sent another bus there for an after party and brought another like fifty or seventy people over no at midnight. Shit. Yeah. So then we went till like five five in the morning. So whereabouts was it? I mean, was it just that sort of Malaga way? Yeah. I think the only yeah, reason we stopped. Yeah. Oh no, the, sorry, the, the, yeah. the only reason we stopped is because the warehouse owner rang us. Yes, I did. It was like, stop. guys, you got to. Like, we would have literally just been kept going, and yeah, they're like, okay. no, nah, you got to, you got to call. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 So how many people were still in there at five a.m. Then? Uh, it was probably about it was about, about a hundred yeah. still, <laughs> still in there. Yeah, still in there. But we also but we also offer people transport back again. So we can't take people somewhere where they don't know where they're going. Yeah. and then say you got to get your way <laughs> home find your way so home. then i was like so i'm working it all out thinking this is gonna cost a lot of money but yeah but managed to somehow make it work so um, that's hilarious though so yeah. i walk out so I'm like, where the fuck are yeah. we <laughs> and I, and I'm, I'm planning the second i'm planning the second one of these so nice. well, obviously it will be signed off by, yeah. by, by the by <laughs> the missus so somewhere you know, in the lager. yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. so um so but, yeah but and the, uh, a good thing about that event as well is filth and pleasure mm. so mm. um I met them boys, oh, it was at a festival probably like 2019. Mm. So and I'm then, pretty sure we've had them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. We're, uh, yeah. With Concept. And I sort of, 
Italy's heard their sort of style of, and they, they play a lot of sort of techno and stuff like that. And, mm. you know, I, I sort of, I could hear, I could hear a bit of trance in there sort of thing. And I sort of started speaking to, I think it was maybe Paul or Craig or one of them. Mm. And then it come out that they used to sort of like DJ all round sort of like, you know, the UK and sort of like do some essential all round IB for and play like hard trance and hard house. Mm. And I was like, well, why don't you boys play this anymore? It's like, oh, we sort of left that behind. A bit like Chris, I yeah. left that all behind. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking this. So I worked on it, worked on it. And then it was a blazing swan. Um, he was sort of, uh, I think it was Paul, Paul was meant to sort of play a set there. And he sort of said to him, he said, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not emotionally attached to it. And I said, well, that's fine. I said, look, that's cool. And, and I get that, especially with, with trance. It is a very an emotional sort of like sort of, um, sort of music and i said to him I said, well, look do me a deal then i said look i've got i've got i've got all the sort of tracks at home i've got all all, all the vinyls i'll put on a vinyl night and i said i want you to come to mine and that was my way in so he did he come down mm -hmm. he, he stuck to his word come down i got him on the decks and he played mm -hmm. played some trance and hard house and then when it got to the second birthday i said look do you mind if i book you i said you know i would like to book you and I said, what, what spot do you want? <laughs> like that. And I said to him, mm. like, you can have whatever spot you want. Mm. And, uh, and yeah. And he said, you know, I'd, I'd love the hard house, uh, section, hard trance section. And, uh, this what, what time was that? That was, Quite late, wasn't it two? Yeah. It was about two. Yeah. About two o'clock. Yeah. Um, but, um, Craig, mm. Craig hadn't really played that either, but I knew if I could get Paul back playing that and, I, and he hadn't played it for about 15 years. That Craig would hopefully come back to, mm. and then about literally a week, I remember I was going down to Margaret River, and Paul messaged me, and he was like, "Craig's gonna play too," and I was mm. like, "Yes, mm. you know." Mm. So um, it's a good win. Yeah, it That's was a good win. Yeah, you know, it's just back to back. Mm, like yeah. I said, then there's there's so many more people out there that I know mm. have got a love that would want to play it again. I reckon right? most, like to be honest, most people in their like thirties upwards grew up a trance, like it was, yeah. and this is I think this is why we all kind of connect because like Craig, Craig's probably the youngest. Yes. And he's, even he's, what, 30, 34? Yeah, yeah. It was last week. I should know this. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> you can edit that bit out. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's um, it. Craig, if you're watching, you forgot half, your birthday. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, I like, but especially because we were laughing earlier, there, there's, there's literally no Aussies in what we do. It's all, like, yeah. we're all from the UK. That's it. <laughs> and it's, it's all, like the it's UK, British. back yeah. through the, like, late 90s, early 2000s, we were most of us would have been teenagers maybe early 20s at that point yeah and like everybody grew up with trance so that's mm -hmm. the thing like anybody that has that background of like because the filth and pressure boys are both from the uk yeah you know they're just going to have that in them um so we can all kind of relate mm. in that way maybe we should talk about the only aussie oh well brad's brad's australian <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we got a token Aussie. We got this. Yeah, yeah we, have, we have got one. We, got we have got one. Aussie. Yes, yeah. we have got yeah. one. So, so it's like out of a hundred people, you got one. Yeah. No, no. So, so, of, so of the six residents, we've also got Graham as well. We need to speak about Graham and yeah. Brad. So we'll talk yeah. about Brad first. So, yeah. um, I can't even remember how I met Brad. I met. I think I, I, I was following Brad online. I think, and then I actually started PT in him before. Was it? I can't remember what came first. I was either training him or mm. or music. One of them. And then we I just know. connected. I remember it was we did we did pre's before Barlow and he turned up with with Clint and he got on my decks That's, and I was yeah, like, yeah, who yeah, is yeah, who yeah. who is this guy? Yeah, yeah. So um so yeah, and like, you know, Brad's like you, he's completely versatile, plays all everything basically. Mm. Like he absolutely mm. loves music. So yeah. um so yeah, that was a good like literally a perfect fit. Unfortunately he's he's gone to New Zealand for a year, so yeah. Um um, Brad's, I love, like, I've always loved Brad's sets because yeah. the same reason. It's like, you just, he'll just play anything. Yeah. yeah. And literally doesn't care. Yeah. Like, you know, you yeah. could ask him, like, I've, I've asked Chris to play so many different spots. He just goes, yeah, I'll play that. That's yeah, fine. whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, yeah, and then, and then the last one of the, of it, well, we've obviously spoken about Terrell, but is, is Graham. Graham. Yeah. DJ, DJ Graham Miller. Yeah. So we met him at, um it was Al's. Al's, yeah, Al's yeah, Al's right. thing, yeah. yeah. Um, it was like I guess it was they were you call it's a kind of lure, you call it a doof, but it was more like um I guess it was a doof, wasn't it? it yeah. Was, yeah, he had this guy had this property up in the hills and the property is like massive. So he had he had this section of his property that was just dedicated to like throwing raves pretty much. Yeah, okay. um, that's pretty cool. Mm. It was, yeah, like mm. the, we had some like epic sunsets mm. there, like sunset raves because his land He's like quite high. It's near Serpentine, so he's quite high up. Mm -hmm. And then you've got this view of just like land everywhere. And then at sunset, it's just magical. There's mm -hmm. this like lookout spot. So he mm -hmm. has the decks set up 
close to the lookout spot so you've got this like awesome tunes in the background you got this amazing sunset um and you that's got, like the city in the background as well it's it's not a city backdrop it's just like just land and it yeah, just but it looks like picturesque it's that's cool, cool though. he's also yeah. built a stonehenge a replica oh, stonehenge, that's right. a replica stonehenge. Yeah, i think i've heard about this actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah can we try and pull that up like, do you know if it's on google or anything like that it'll be on he's definitely got it on facebook yeah yeah, yeah. so virtual, what made him want to build energy a, virtual energy so yeah. virtual energy is his facebook it's on it's on yeah there. Well, maybe yeah. you want to build a, a stone. Why not? He always, <laughs> that's it. So he, he, threw, he threw, he has this thing about this, like the summer and the winter solstice. Mm. Um, so he throws these like solstice parties. Oh, really? And then I don't really know the background behind Stonehenge and the solstice. I don't know if they're even connected, but he, <laughs> they probably are. They probably <laughs> are. Yeah. Like, that is. Well, yeah. Maybe Google that as well. Yeah, you can that that in depth into it. <laughs> but he has, um, I, don't, I don't know what the connection is. That's but he, it there. there. You're yeah, kidding me. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so, so go back up. Yeah. He built that. Oh no, that's yeah. that. That's the real one. Stonehenge. Yeah, the real one. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's his Stonehenge. Oh, that's yeah. Close. yeah. That yeah. is crazy yeah. cool. It's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. And then like to the, his... to the left of that. Yeah, there it is. So you can <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. see it. So yeah. this is the setup, and then over there is the sunset, and it's like it's such mm. a wicked. Um, it's a really good venue. That's mm. amazing, guys. That's up in Serpentine. Yeah. Yeah. But that's that's how we met Graham. So I met. So Graham's a good friend of the guy that owns that property. Like they've known each other in the scene. Mm. Like Graham's been mixing for probably more than any of us. Yeah. Like Graham, mm. Graham's mixing for well over twenty years. Great DJ, mm. um, and he knows he knows the guy. That's it there. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah, yeah. We, we will definitely get out there one day. Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, so, but yeah, that's that's how we met Graham. Yeah, and I always remember because I I couldn't go that day, uh, mm. but but Craig went and Craig was playing, and Graham had two sets on the lineup. I think he was in charge of the lineup. <laughs> that's he, had, he had two sets. So the guy Al, that's the guy Al that promotes the event doesn't really know much about music. He just loves music. Yeah. So he he like Graham's like the head honcho. Yeah. And Graham being Graham, if he knew Graham, he's like, all right, I'll do my warm up set and I'll do my main set. So, yeah. <laughs> like, so you've got like. Mm. Literally, we used to pull the pits. It's yeah. like Graham Miller, Graham Miller, Graham Miller. Graham Miller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then, but so then on the back of that, like sort of Craig was just like, yes, but like his style of like trance and music, like your love, and then mm. and then I, there was a, like a running joke where I was like, well, he's well, he's got to send in a mix, like you know, so and he always does a yearly vocal mix for his wife. So he sent me that a yearly vocal <laughs> you mix. mix yeah. Yeah. Sings? No, he sings. No, 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 you know, he he gets to have a mix sort of at home like every every Friday. Yeah, like okay. he's got it's his religious like yes. he'll not miss it. Like every nah. Friday night, you just know what's happening. It's like yeah. Miller time. Yeah. <laughs> Miller, Miller time. time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. So and he also likes to play jokes on you. Mm. So, but I don't think he ever thought that a joke would go back on him. So, so once every time you stream at his house, or so sometimes he invites you up as a guest, and he always leaves a deck in a certain way, or he might leave the filter on. So then, when you start mixing, you've always got to make sure. Would it also be like the crossfader? So it's yeah, like going yeah, like that or way you turn yeah, off the button yeah. like that, and you're trying to work out, you know, how to fix it before like running out of time and stuff mm. like that. So I thought I'd just get him back live. You know, and it's probably a bit risky doing it at your own event. So <laughs> I knew that his decks didn't have sync on it and he wouldn't be able to disengage. So I turned the sync on when I was finishing to let him start his track. And he thought he was going to start off at 1.22. And it started, it started going at 1, at 1.38. And it basically it was faithless, and it was and it was basically sounded like a chipmunk. Chipmunk, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Chip, the chipmunk <laughs> remix. <of cases. laughs> yeah. And he was like, "Well, how do I disengage this?" I said, "Well, look, I'll disengage it for you, but you've got to take it back to one twenty-two. <laughs> and he just did it in one big sweep. Went, so, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. 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 And everyone yeah. just standing there, just like, "What yeah, happened so, yeah. to the music?" Well, the other, I think the other thing that added to it was like Graham's Graham's notorious for making his own intros. Yeah, yeah. So he'll like he'll make these like mashup intro kind of thing like at the start of a set. <laughs> mm. So you kind of were thinking, "Fuck." Because he's done that on purpose. <laughs> yeah. like, just like, I, was, I was like, is this, yeah. is this actually yeah. happening? That's why I looked at it and thought, you know, is this, is this going to damage the night? I thought, yeah. no one will really know. So, <laughs> and to be fair, most people didn't. It was only the people that really understand it yeah. and knew. Yeah. So, 
But so, what yeah. time does he usually play then? Like, if he's going to put his own intros in and stuff? Um, he normally starts off on a Friday about 7, 7 o'clock. Oh, do you mean, I on, mean, a, do you mean on a uh, night? Yeah, on a, on a night, though. Like oh, yeah. Does, oh, he does his own intro for the event as well? No, no, or yeah. he just goes straight into no, it? No, normally when he's at home, he doesn't do it. But for, mm. when he plays out on yeah. a night out, yeah, mm. he, he always does. He always yeah, does okay. his intro. That's, that's something I really like about what you do, though, like, um, with with the residents, for example, like we all rotate positions. Mm. So in a way, sometimes you get like the house guy who just plays house, and he'll st- he'll start the night, and then that blends into whatever. Um, one thing that I really like about what you do is mm. everybody gets an opportunity to play e- bits of everything, right? Because I know you're a DJ, you'll know you've got music in your collection that you fucking love, but you never really get the opportunity That's to play. It. Yeah. So it's like every now and again you'll get that spot. It's like, oh, okay, you're playing at like you know midnight to one thirty, and it's like, fuck. I've been wanting to play this music for like so long and I haven't been able to. That's it. Yeah. Um, so I think that's one thing that you do really well. And, and Graham's like that as well. Like Graham can play like an opening spot one night and then the next night he's coming in and he's playing maybe like headline spot. Mm. Um, so that's that's something that I really like about the, mm. the way the, the setup is done. Yeah, and that's yeah. why I'm looking forward to the next, well, the gig at the weekend is that mm. he's, he's only closed once before, which was a chipmunk one. Yeah, and yeah, he's, yeah. And he's sort of like playing. He's got that opportunity. And he's playing yeah. the harder set this time. And mm. I know at the weekend he's gone through at least, I think he said something like 1,500 tracks. Really? So yeah, and, like, and, and he, well, mm. he's got he's got tw- he's got twenty years of tracks. Like he's got six hard drives. Like you know, Fucking so hell. Okay. But that, so, yeah. that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah. Like the amount of effort that goes into the events is it's why they're so good. Mm. Um, but yeah, you wouldn't want them like every four weeks. No, like, no way. No. Yeah, it's too yeah. soon. Yeah. So yeah. what is the next event coming up? Because that's you're getting like an international guest, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 So we've got um Caillou and Albert. Okay. So. In the cool, trance. Pull them up, that's all right. Yep. Yeah, so like late 90s, early 2000s was kind of like the golden era for trance. Um, and that's that's what I grew up listening to. It's what he grew up listening to. And to be honest, it, like I still will go back and listen to that music to this day. Mm-hmm. Um, and these guys were like, I wouldn't say pioneers in the scene, but they were big in the scene. So they were, they were huge um, around that kind of early 2000s to mid 2000s. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, they're, they're massive names in, in the trance scene. And obviously, Paul is huge on his trance like that's the the ethos behind um Yange beats essentially is it's a trance based thing yeah um so we got the opportunity to um to to book them and get them over so um, that's that's them there Caillou and albert yeah that's yeah. it yep yeah. so yeah they're two two german lads yeah 1990 yeah. to present yeah, yeah they, that's yeah. what i'm saying they, they go right back and that they've been an absolute pleasure to work with because we we've ever we've not done an international before we don't know really what what to do and whatever else and yeah but have you booked their flights and the yeah accommodation yeah, all, and all? Yeah, worked all that yeah and then obviously because we're a little bit different mm. i've obviously said yeah, can we can we do this and can we do that and all these different ideas mm. and and they've been great they've been like yeah that's that's a great idea yeah we'll have do they that. ever come to australia before yeah they're back they were, they've been to perth once before i think it was 2011 12 okay. so yeah mm. so they haven't, they haven't been out for a while but so that's pretty cool though it's like yeah. back like yeah. almost 10 years later in a way or yeah, yeah. Years later. it's a shame because yeah. we were really looking forward to taking them over to Rotto, but um mm. obviously because they've got the two weekend gigs I think he fly. They fly off to Sydney on the on the Sunday oh, really? at, at six a.m. So oh, yeah, really? so, yeah, and he's doing Adelaide on Friday as well. So oh really? So there's literally gonna be Adelaide, Perth, and yes, Sydney. yeah, yeah. and then the yeah. week off, and then I think it's Brisbane the following weekend. Yeah, okay. And then I think it's Portland in Oregon. Like really, the, and then the week off afterwards. to America. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Damn. They're huge. Yeah, the big, big, big names. Like yeah. I say, back in that golden era, they were like right up there. They've, they've mm. got their own record label, um, yeah. Euphonic. Yeah. Um, so they've mm. they've run their own label for years as well, and mm. there's heaps of like huge artists that release on their label. So they're, they're yeah. like they're a big deal. Yeah, I'm pretty mm. sure Binary Finery '98 was released on there as well. So yeah. there, there's so many. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's so many. So yeah. how do you guys weigh it up as well? Because it's like. You know, if you throw an event and it's all mm. local artists, then mm. you can just pay like you know the local artist rate. Yeah. But like for example, right, I yeah. found out the other day yeah. that the Red Wiggle to get to mm. come play here, right, was like mm. fourteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, like, I actually, Red I actually Wiggle. met him. Like, I actually oh, met man. him the other. I met him the other <laughs> week. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. somehow managed to get uh, back, 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 back did stage of the full. Yeah, I, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so so I met them. So you but... had a beer with Murray, at the Red Wiggle. Well, <laughs> we and, and that was, Red Wiggle. <laughs> and that was one of the main things when we started Janja Beats as well. Was like everyone, everyone gets paid, so everyone gets offered a hundred bucks an hour. Yeah, right? and that's, that's good, right? And it, it's to sort of say if if we can't if we can't make money from this, it's not. You know, like I think sometimes it can be perceived as that you know, well, you're getting to play to people, or you you get drinks voucher. But we were like, everyone should get 
like because we know as DJs how hard it is. You know, so just quickly, so this guy on the right, that's your mate. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> nice. yeah. I met the two in the middle. Really, like, you met Jeff and yeah. um, whatever his maybe, name is. Yeah, maybe, maybe I missed him. So, um, but yeah, like we've always said that you know, if 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 we can't run a rent events and pay the DJs, then there's no point doing that's it, it yeah. you know sort of thing because it's you know it's so hard being a lo local dj you yeah know, you and, don't want to get branded as one of those events that don't pay yes you know, the artists yeah. you know and we, and we also say that if we get a bar tab it's just extra so at the sewing rooms reunion we managed to sort of we, you know, by then we was a, a little bit more established so i said look guys we'll, we'll put 500 bucks in the green room mm. so everyone has That's a drink not too bad, yeah. you know mm. just to you know it's you know it's it's just little just little things like that because i think again as being a dj you understand when you're going through like graham is 1500 tracks yeah, you know fine. to try and narrow it down yeah. to a bucket of 50 to play and you've got to turn up and stay sober and perform you are playing to people, but then there's also a lot of effort and you should be, I think it's probably the only profession in the world where you can get away with not being paid for. Mm. Yeah. Really, yeah. isn't yeah. it? So. And the time, the time and effort it takes, like, you know what it's like prepping for gigs is like, the time and effort it takes is, is quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. yeah. yeah it can take hours, can yeah. take days, mm. can do, yeah. yeah. Take yeah. a long time. You know, but like I said, some of the DJs just go, no, look, you know, I'll, you know, thanks for the opportunities, sort, sort of thing. And, yeah. you know, so, but. Yeah. Mm. but then so with that as well so like you have the djs and you know they're getting paid as and the whole lot mm. but then how have you worked it out for the international because like being your first international in australia yeah. in perth yeah did you have to like buy onto the leg of the tour and then no uh, really <laughs> it's a it's a it's a strange one like we so didn't what, you just message them hey come no, to perth. <laughs> like, no it, it wasn't even it was actually someone who it sort of fell to us in being that we didn't we haven't done we're not we're not really going down that route of going down like we want to be on the booking agent's name and doing all the bids it's like we yeah. want to work with people that are going to work well with our brand mm. you know um and when we when someone said oh look who was on one of these booking things like do you know that these guys are coming we're like no <laughs> and like you know would you be interested and like, we're like yes mm. you know mm. and straight away so yeah and we just again we just sort of worked out and just sort of said you know how Cause, much because you know? then it's like since you're because mm. you're paying them obviously to come over here yep. right and then you the accommodation the flight yep. the whole lot yep. but then like have you had to like go back through your finances to like change the price of the ticket sales because you've got a big name coming over or N not not really like I, I guess it's like with running anything you know if you're running gig to gig and you should have a, a little bit of money there yeah, of like, course, you know, yeah. like again i've said before because yeah, i've heard of people where it's just like you know, yeah. they throw an event but mm. then they'll just take the profit and just yeah. put it in the pocket yeah, instead yeah. of reinvesting oh, no, we, we, yeah, yeah we yeah. literally we reinvest like are you yeah. guys are you guys free on saturday do you want to come oh potentially i'm <laughs> yeah. free on saturday yeah you can see how nuts we go so. yeah <laughs> um yeah no, so yeah, yeah. um good for a podcast <laughs> <laughs> the, the third official sponsor yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's, yeah. it. that's it that's yeah. it well that's we're it. gonna have to get a kangaroo in the background yeah <laughs> yeah so so but we're, we're launching something new we're launching a few new things this time so we're doing the the dress up photo booth Mm. dress up photo booth. yeah <laughs> so is this, this the ideas that go through this guy's head man <laughs> but you know what you you sit there and you think fuck is he serious <laughs> and then on the night it's like fuck that it's Word. gone it's gone off like yeah, just love yeah. it like yeah just themed and like just different quirky little shit like the one that i really like stuck in my mind was um we had one of the gigs in the sewing room and you had the TV up and he was playing human tra was it human traffic? Train yeah, yeah. Was it human traffic? Train spotting as train well. Train spotting. Yeah. So yeah. the whole the whole gig was like train spotting was playing in the background and I was like, Man, this yeah. is just sick. It's like yeah. Yeah, that's this is awesome. like that, yeah, it's well, like we went into this venue and they're like, Oh, you do you wanna put these cool visuals up and DJ logo spinning around? Like, and I was nah. like, Nah. Nah, no, no. I, I, I literally, yeah. I literally yeah. said to every DJ, I said, look, you all get to pick a you know, a rave movie. So we had Kevin and Perry, we had um, a human traffic. I think it's gone Pete Tong. That's the one I choose. <laughs> yeah. You know, and there was just people in there that didn't understand it at all, and they were just like, "What's going on?" Like that. And there, <laughs> there was one guy just watching it. Someone just staying the dance floor. Yeah. Like, yeah. Good yeah. Film. <laughs> yeah. So um, just... the Twitch. The other thing that was cool as well. You know, when you put the Twitch stream up. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So like he projected the obviously all the the events like we said we stream them. Mm -hmm. So we put the Twitch 
stream up on the things so you can see like luckily there was no dodgy comments yeah exactly um but yeah you yeah. can see all the people that were like tuning yeah. in from like over east from That's like new zealand cool. from uk and like, like do you also have the video as well so people can kind of see them yeah 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 well it, it's mostly i think we do it for the day yeah it's on the dj dj so yeah you, can, you don't really mm. want to like focus so much on the crowd obviously yeah, yeah um but yeah it was cool because like i say you could get people from all all over the world just like hitting yeah. in comments and stuff yeah because no, cool. obviously like i think i a lot of our crew that come are a lot obviously a lot older mm. so obviously they can't come all the time yeah so you know then they can just watch at home and have a little make it sound like they're in the lane or something well no not that you know obviously well even you know even tonight yeah but kids know. and stuff yeah yeah, yeah no yeah, kids yeah. and but, you know it's not like like the younger you know, the younger kids they go out every saturday i don't even know how mm. i would do that anymore yeah though. what is yeah. the demographic of your events it's definitely older but do you oh, know it's what all over really isn't it but I, yeah I, I like mm. it like i don't i don't know like I find with um you go into like a lot of clubs mm. i don't know there's, there's egos and there, mm. there's no egos is nah. what i like about yeah. it like, yeah everybody's that little bit older they've got kids at home they don't want to go out to like try to start a fight they don't mm. you know they're literally like they're getting out for the first time in like yeah. four or six or eight weeks yeah and they're yeah. like let's just cut loose have a mm. great time and like it's it's a really good yeah. good vibe i'd say it's probably 30 upwards is really the yeah because yeah, sort of something thing. that blew me away right like, I, I was just down in boston with my like family and stuff like that but like my 18 year old cousin she literally told me it's like yeah people go clubbing to you know to get laid or you know get on yeah. pingers and stuff like <laughs> yeah, that and yeah. it's just like yeah. damn 18 year olds so really man. think that that's the whole idea of going to a nightclub yeah, yeah. So is so to just go get laid or going you know munchy jaw off yeah, yeah. But instead of being like no nah, mm. i'm here to hang out yeah. and like, enjoy the music, the music like, yeah. and, and like, the vibe but like. and, and like i think that's another reason why we started this we want everyone to have the freedom to I'm dressed in whatever they want to come comfortable yeah, okay. dressed in. We would never, <laughs> we like would like never, yeah, <laughs> we would, we would never do a white party or anything like that. That's not mm. us. Like you just come in whatever you want to be dressed in. Like, do you promote that in the event? Just say literally, just wear whatever you want. Well, we haven't really said it, but we sort of said that mm. hopefully people will just catch on that we just really don't care. Yeah, like we yeah. really don't care. So you could just rock out with bodies and bongs. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Like everything yeah, else. Nice. Literally, like, but then um, in you the... play the game, spot the Aussie right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then at the at the at the sewing rooms, the reunion. <laughs> Now, and I remember this night, I was getting called out from like the bouncers to check on people if they were too, you know, drunk and everything else like this. And someone said, "There's a there's a guy outside in a suitcase," and I was like, "What?" So I came up, and this and like this guy, uh, Rob, Rob, Rob Beck, Beckett, Rob, Rob Beckett, it yeah. turned up wearing a suitcase, suitcase wearing his, a suitcase with his arms <laughs> and legs hanging out and i was so like he get him in the middle in. of the suitcase said, yeah. his head was coming like the top yeah. his arms like the sides yeah. and then these legs and we were like yeah. and the, the best thing about it everybody was just like no one yeah, cared all right yeah. cool no one asked any like questions. you, you do you <laughs> <And that's, laughs> like, yeah. it was, you know. he was having the fucking best time of his life and we yeah. were all like yep yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, you know, yeah, he's gonna stay he's, yeah. you know. he's the popular guy. Um, yeah. And I, 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 I sort of said to him, and like, it's one of them things, even with things like guest lists, right? You know, obviously everyone wants to be on the guest list, mm. right? So what we do, so we do different things with our guest list. Like we, we honor people, like if they go over, like over and above. Mm. So we had four people that had come to all 10 of our gigs. <clears throat> really? So, so going from a kitchen in Yanjabup to 10 gigs, and they've gone to like every single one. So we just said, look, we're just going to give you guest list for life. Yeah, you know, that's cool. You know, mm. just as I just a, love yeah, it. Yeah, mm. want to support it as a support thing. So, have you over the time of having like so it's ten events you've had? I think so it's eleven or maybe 11? eleven. Yeah, some ten, eleven. Yeah. But then, you, so yeah. Yeah. with that, then how has it been over those like eleven events? Because you know how like when you first throw an event, it's like you know it'd be packed, it'd be busy. But then mm. to try and get the second event busy and really, really good. Sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle. Yeah, we've only had one that didn't go to plan, and that's only because oh, it rained. Yeah, really, um, what, out, was it outside? It was, it was an, yeah, and it was, <laughs> a, a it was random bang in the middle of summer, like <laughs> literally the most random shower that you'll ever come across. So that it was like beforehand and after it was like perfect weather for weeks yeah and then you had this one day and it was like fucking torrential <laughs> and, 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 well, no, it, it, it only rained for like five minutes it was a short period it was yeah. a very short period and then we had to we had, and it was right when the second wave of covid come back so it was already a bit 
like it was a bit of a hard, risky it was really one to draw, yeah. yeah. I think we still managed to get like 80 or 90 it's people still, We still there. pulled it still off, some, yeah, yeah. done all right. But like, was all the equipment was like undercover and... Oh, well, uh, loosely. <laughs> <So> <laughs> the wind was like, get red, it was but... coming in sideways, it was <laughs> yeah. like... Yeah. 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 But fair play, like, because we're so like quick and nimble, we just somehow just unplugged it all. Yeah. Stream as well, got it in, in, the, in the inside. inside. Luckily, luckily it, was a, it was a Sunday sesh. Okay. So we were, we were at the Aberdeen and um, oh, really? we okay. were in the beer garden of the Dean. Yeah. And then, luckily, like the bar, the bar staff and everything, they were awesome. They yeah. were like, "Look, guys, in the main room inside's empty. Just fucking go for it." So they yeah. helped us, like, carry everything in, get set up. It was only maybe like a fifteen-minute period where there was no music. Yeah, but still, that's all right though. It was. Everyone yeah. sees, I like, think everyone sees. Yeah, yeah. It, that's right. And everybody was. And it, it, it turned out to be a pretty solid day. Like, it, yeah. like obviously, it didn't go to plan, but it yeah, was them. it turned out all right. And that, that's yeah. why we were worried about doing this one originally because we <laughs> we've used the metro rooftop. So. Yeah, okay. And it's not often trance gets played outside in Perth. So yeah. we were just like, let's give it another go. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we sort of booked that venue. And then we were like, we have a thing that we like the function ones, mm. you know, or, you know, mm. or voids or whatever. So, so yeah, so we, yeah, so we booked the function ones as well. So, so you hire them out as yeah, well? Yeah, we're hiring them out. Sounds like yeah. a lot of expenses. Right? Yeah, look at it. But that's, that's it. Like when you do these things, like I said, is that you can cut on all these things and, tr and then make some profit or you can just put it back into the night and everyone's have a really good time that's exactly you it, know yeah. so mm. and that's why like, even with doing the the dress up photo booth mm. you know you know it's, it's, it's an added expense but then some people just go i've got a crazy hat or a crazy wig and you should see some of the stuff <laughs> we've got i'm dressed as a suitcase we've actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 we've yeah. actually got like a full bunnings outfit as well really so, yeah yeah, yeah. It's an apron as well so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. have so, you guys um, ever thought about doing like more bush or raves or anything like that as well or? yeah look we was asked by twisted uh jar to do something about mm. a year ago and we were going to do a side a side stage for that um, yeah. um but then um unfortunately like it was it was just it was just COVID again that sort yeah. of that, sorts. do you want to talk about the bus stop is that how the bus stop came around no, the bus oh, that was for something else. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 for something else. So, yeah. but yeah, but the bus. We, so we actually built this bus stop. So we we wanted to build a stage, so we built this bus stop. Um, it's like it's basically mirrored off of like a bus stop in Perth, okay. and then we'd have the decks inside the bus stop. <laughs> so <laughs> I've, it's pretty cool. Actually. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And then like on the road, you got you got like a map on the side of it, inside it, where you would have the normal sort of like bus route, mm. and that's like you know we just all got custom like. like Custom stops like custom. trance and like all those stuff. All, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I'll probably give it away anyway. But let's just do it. So, so I was been scouting around to look for the booth that is going to be for the photo booth. So mm. I was like trying to find a white screen, and I just thought, mm. why am I going to spend money on that? Let's just take the bus stop. Yeah, right. So the bus stop's going to be the photo, photo booth. booth. Yeah, yeah, so nice. you're going to have the bus stop in metros yeah. upstairs. Right. <laughs> okay, we're I'm all laughing, the... but I'm realizing we're going to have to fucking <laughs> carry up the yeah, 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 exactly. So is that where the event is the next? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah the metro, metro rooftop. rooftop. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. 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 Is there anything on the main stage at all, or is it just you guys upstairs? It's just us, I think it's us upstairs, yeah, which yeah, is nice, because obviously if the weather hadn't have been great, which is actually it's perfect. I mean, it's like 32 and sunny, so... Yeah. Um, then we could have moved inside, but like mm. you know, said. Um, but yeah, so we've got the photo booth, which is. But yeah, it's it's going to be fun. Trust mm. me, it'll yeah. be good. It'll be good. <laughs> so, how many tickets have you sold so far? Yeah, just over two hundred so far. So that's yeah, not bad. yeah, that's yeah. Right. So mm. yeah, so that's really just, good. Yeah, so it's good. And especially, I think one of the big things with what you've noticed as well is mm. like there's a lot of last minute ticket buys. Mm. So even to have two hundred at this point yeah. is like pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. guys ever have to deal with scalpers at all? Yes. Yeah. yeah we've, got, we've got a really that? good method. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So we. Well, you just message them privately. Like, oh. No. No. So we. So we've we've done we've done free we've we've sold out free boat parties and what we do is we we work with people if they don't want to come we basically say that we will work with the ticket holder to try and on sell your ticket because mm. like a boat and it holds anywhere between like 100 to the last one was a bit bigger it was 180 that was. Damn, that's an yeah. all right boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, was, it was cool. It's, How it's... big was the boat? <laughs> oh, so <laughs> I went off. I think I went off for a, like a lunch one day, and I, I thought I'd go over to South Perth. And you know, there's a mm. there's a steamboat called the Decoy Boat. It's parked over on oh, the I think so, on actually. the South Perth. And, I, and I looked at this. I looked at this boat, and I was like, I wonder if we can do a, a party on that thing. 
like that because it's like a tourist attraction. It looked, yeah. yeah, it's it's not the sort of thing that <laughs> <laughs> like it's this is just him to tea. It's like it's probably something that takes like nanas out for like tea, like high tea kind yeah. of thing. You know, like it, it's not mm. something you think. Fuck yeah, we're gonna run a rave on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, guys in board shorts. Yeah, but that's, yeah, it. That yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's not too bad. Though. That's still kind of pretty. I was expecting to be like old brown and falling apart. No, it's, 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 no, it's well, about. It's about. Oh, it is kind of pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nah, and it's great, and we yeah, and like everyone loved it, and like. Hold on a minute. Is that actually the picture of one of us? Go back. Is that one of our ones? No, no, oh, okay. no, no. So um. Okay. So yeah, and yeah, we we sort of sold sold it out in like four weeks or something, and then suddenly we because of that we then had people trying to scalp saying it's twenty four point nine meters long. Yeah, mm, that's it's huge. A, yeah, it's ball, yeah. Good. That's two massive. levels, two levels. Um, no, it's great. Um, yeah, we de we definitely do something else on that again. So yeah. like, we, like like with any of our gigs, it's it's a bit of a sometimes it's a learning experience, and mm. you know there's stuff that we we can we want to add to it. So we're well, it's all the, building blocks. This thing, yeah. The more events that go on, the more yeah. you know. Yeah, the next exactly. one on that, there's going to be, it's in the pipeline. So yeah, yeah that's yeah. awesome. How long ago was that one? That was, was actually quite recent, January. January. Yeah. yeah, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah January. Okay. Yeah. And it was just like a public event on Facebook. Just buy a ticket and come on. Or? Yeah, yeah, pretty mm -hmm. much, yeah. pretty okay. much. But uh, but we always do like we have a little bit of fun. Like again, we just sort of like learn different skills. So mm. I think it was you that showed me the 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 video design file that we oh, used. Oh yeah, the promo stuff for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, like, yeah. Sort, of, sort of one day I just sat down for nine hours and just worked how to do video edit editing, you know, and. Mm. That's you know. the way to do it. Yeah, yeah. You just, just, like, just learn by doing it. Tape yeah. Course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was this like it was like YouTube famous back in the day when YouTube literally just kicked off, and it's how you how you learned to mix was you just watched the Ellis Skins videos. Yeah, yeah, uh, similar similar kind of thing. Yeah, so, similar things to yeah. that. So we just sort of like would, and it's a bit of a running theme now that everyone goes, well, what's what's the video for this one and what's the video for that mm -hmm. one? And I must admit, we, we killed the one for this one. So mm -hmm. so what we did is we got a drone and we sort of like sent it up in the air and it was it was it's great actually. yeah the footage is awesome yeah it was, yeah, it was, yeah, really it was just good. like over the swan valley uh swan river or no, no sorry the metro rooftop, oh, metro, yeah. Metro okay. rooftop. Yeah, yeah okay yeah. can we yeah. pull it up if, if possible is it live yeah. yet yeah yeah, oh, yeah it's yeah yeah, yeah. 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 it'll yeah. be on the yanji beats page won't it yeah it'll be on the yanji beats page yeah, yeah on, the, on the facebook page. i wanted to ask about the yanji beats page as well so like how do you guys go about like comp like doing the um social media because social media is so full on sometimes I like, know. It's a full time job sometimes. Like even mm. for us, it's like doing this thing and it's like yeah, keeping yeah. posts up, keeping like, you know, yeah. keeping things going. Yeah. It's just um, we'll, we'll, it's a never ending cycle. Yeah, so this yeah, is it yeah, here. This is it here, yeah. So So how do you like who takes turns or like who does most of the social media? We just sort of share it really, like, you know, it was sort of like I guess I I guess I'm the delegator as such. I'm sort of the delegator mm -hmm. as that looks good. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so I guess I delegate things like, you know, obviously Chris is really, really good at his sort of like his writing and stuff like that. And Graham's good at like doing some sharing and groups and stuff like that. So we sort of share it all around, really. It's mm -hmm. it's really a team thing. So mm. that's not too bad. Yeah. And so this is. Way more comments if I can start yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah sure. sure. Well, we got to wrap things up soon as well because we've been going for longer than an hour. Oh, right? now, oh, oh yeah, we'll keep. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's Geffen. Oh, uh, well. there's Gavin. Yeah, Damn, ten people, people, people watching right now. We're yeah. popular. Yeah, it's going off. <laughs> yeah. Next for the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. That's standard. <laughs> That's standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. Yeah, so, but even with Tyrrell, like you know, and we've, you know, it's it's been a great story where we've sort of helped DJs like flourish and move on. So I. I met Tyrrell with uh, a guy called Scoey on the line to John Double O Fleming at okay. Geisha. Like he was literally the guy behind me, mm. and we were sort of like talking to him. Like it was nice seeing someone go out on their own, and he didn't have any friends. I mean, oh, just sort of hang out with us, sort of thing. Not saying he didn't have any friends. He didn't, <laughs> didn't have any friends <laughs> that, that, that night. That night, yeah, they were all busy. Hi, I have yeah, no exactly, exactly, yeah, yeah, and um, and yeah, and then and, yeah. He, and, you know, and he, he just had he just had a, a passion for like obviously John Double Fleming music. Mm. Roll on 
two years later, we've obviously, you know, he's my business business partner. We've started Yanja Beats. He then got to open for John Double O Fleming oh, wow, in okay. the club where we met him from. So that's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, and then another one is 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 Sylph Marja. So again, you know, we are we are some mixes, and she sent a mix. Um, and we were just really, really busy at the time and we, and we were like planning for the first birthday and then she sent another mix and then we finally listened to it and we're like, oh, this is, this is amazing. We have to fit you in somehow. Mm. And we managed to sort of like slot her in for an hour. Mm. Um, and I, and she, was that, was that Prince Lane or was, no, that, that was, there? that was the Aberdeen main, like the oh, main room. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yep, yep. Um, and like, you know, again, she's, she's from Holland, you know, she's got an old sort of vinyl background, like loves her, lo loves her tunes, but mm. you know, she, she still says like to this day that that helped her yeah, get, get noticed and, yeah. and then go on from there. So, mm. so you know. with, with the decks then, so it, do you just provide the CDJs kind of thing or do you have DJs that come in that want to play that's, turn tables? I know, that's or... gone away. <laughs> <laughs> well, so look, I was... <laughs> Tough <laughs> question. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it's a loaded question. Yeah, 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 <laughs> okay. It's it a loaded, loaded question. So like, for me, I learned on like, um, like some belt driven decks you know, and then I went on to like, sort of like, you know, up, up the decks and stuff. And then, so no, I didn't learn to go onto digital until about maybe like with my best mate, probably 2014, Mike Naylor. Mm -hmm. So when, when it comes to starting to run events, I was like, well, we need, we need some decks for this. I can't ask borrow people or anything else. And I, I think the three thousands were just coming out with obviously a mix. And I was like, looking at it going, like, you know, that's a, that's a lot of money. I thought, well, you know the the zx controller seems to do it all it's got the it's got the same sort of thing so we just sort of run with that mm -hmm. we'll have a look at that because i know an rx looks like but yeah. in X -Z. is it xz zx zx oh, say, yeah and so that's the one all in one well, yeah so it's it... basically yeah so it's basically the same as the nexus 2 job wheels it's the same as the 900 pioneer mixer and yeah. then you can also do serato into it and record box it basically does everything so oh like yeah, that. yeah, okay. yeah it's yeah. huge yeah. Um, that's massive yeah. yeah yeah so but then it's still got the controller features where you can do like the hog cue and and also the the yeah. loops and stuff and the so. pads and the whole lot yeah. yeah yeah and so you got that but then how is it a loaded question? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like, it's the hall, hands weird. down, <laughs> hands down, Chris is like one of the tightest like mixers that I, I know in Perth, right? And I've listened to him on his home stream, everything else like that. He never makes mistakes. And yeah. there was once in a club where it was late on and I, and like he'd come on and I heard something that wasn't, that was out. And I'm like, I was like, what? <laughs> like, it was only slightly out. And I, sort of, I thought I'd come over to see him. And I come over to see him. He's like, I'm trying to use the hot cue. Stress and it, like, and just stress. <laughs> <all> stress. <laughs> and he goes, it's looping. It's looping. I was like, just press that button there. And like, it's like that. So, so yeah. Because uh, my, my background is similar to him. It's like, started with like belt driven turntables to turntables mm -hmm. and then to like cdjs mm -hmm. so i'm like mm -hmm. technology to me is like i'm like there's too many flashy buttons and lights on that mm -hmm. thing i'm just like just give me something <laughs> simple man <laughs> like two buttons i'm good yeah 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 so then what time does the event start and what time does the event finish um it can basically finish whenever really but it starts from six <laughs> until you know, metro city calls you pretty, pretty, much, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much until yeah, we can go but no well it's it's gonna start from six chris is on chris is on first mm. and the reason why we wanted to start it at six as well it's like a cracking venue nice yeah. sunset. sunset it'll be really nice you know yeah. you get the yeah. tunes right as well yeah definitely um uh, we've got so I, I spoke about a guy called scoey but like scoey again is someone that's coming to the yanja by field and He's not a DJ as such. He has spoken once that he might do a set, but mm. he, he's gone down the laser route. He's like, I really want to do all the lighting. The lights, yeah. So he went out and he got his laser license, you know, and now he's he's now he's buying lasers and But doing... can you use the lasers in a club though? If you've got a laser license? If you, if you, do it right. you can, yeah. yeah. So you basically have to do it to you have to submit a form and then do like do it all and get it all approved. So he's gone yeah. through all that to learn all no that. Way. Yes, do mm. that. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool. Because yeah. 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 nowhere in Perth has lasers. Because yeah. there's yeah. too much too many hurdles well, uh, to jump. Um, what, uh, Christoph, event, the Christoph event the other week, it was his lasers that were there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, so we're going to have them out there. It's obviously going to be hard because it's outdoor, but we're going to put some extra smoke still, out there. People would drive so. past me like, damn, there's lasers coming off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Like, What's going on up yeah. there? Yeah. So, so laser so, um, safety course. There we go. So, yeah, we go. So, <laughs> At the hospital. That, yeah. 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 yeah That's okay. it. Laser safety activity. Yeah. Applications. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. 
Yeah. And so he's gonna he's mapped it all out in the whole lot. Yeah, How many lasers been... does he have? But... He's, 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 he's getting loads, actually. Yeah. Yeah. He, he actually set up... Um, <laughs> so I was at a do for the weekend just gone, yeah. and he set up the, the lasers at Bioma. Mm. And fuck man, it looked it looked sick. Like, yeah, it looked really good. It was yeah, just like fifty or hundred lasers, just like boom. It was. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know, man. It was just it, as soon as the smoke, like the smoke hit, and then the lasers come out, they were just like everywhere. It was like, but yeah. it looked because it was like bush as well. It looked absolutely incredible. Yeah. So how are you decorating it then? Because if you're gonna have like lasers and mm. lights and stuff like that, mm. but then like from that video clip, is it gonna mm. be very similar? We have like the awnings, like the metal grate things. Yeah. Or? So there's a, actually there's a lighting room right in the middle of the dance floor, so you can put some. We got we got rolling lights on there, and yeah, then okay. we've got at the f at the front of house. We've also got like the lasers on there coming out. Yeah. So, okay. so yeah, so that's and then we've good. also got performers too, really? which is going to be announced tomorrow and Wednesday. So, yeah. we've gone out and we found two sort of like unique sort of like performers, but like, like um, hula hoop hula hoopers, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. and then another guy that does these like really cool. I can't even describe it, but when I saw it, I was like, "Can I book you?" Yeah. <laughs> like He's like, "Yeah, sure." So yeah, no. so yeah so yeah that that's going to be really good as well so mm. yeah that would be amazing and yeah. so you're going to live stream it as well yes that's yep. really cool yeah to get like the sunset and have the drone as well with everyone partying on the yep. rooftop that's really yeah. cool yeah and like you know it's you know it's, it's a showcase perf as well like yeah. it's a really it's a really cool place because we don't have stuff like that no. really no. so that like, we were considering going down that avenue of like trying to live st uh, live stream events and venues and stuff like that yeah, yeah it's a lot of money yeah <laughs> it's a lot of money investment i think the um the one that i really liked from the from the drone was i think it was was it scully that flew the drone on the boat party yeah 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 because that video was like with the, you've got um you're on swan river and the the drone just takes off and you've got the whole backdrop mm. of the city at mm. sunset yeah. and it just makes it look absolutely incredible yeah, yeah. if you yeah. could pull up the yan the yanja boat the first one mm. i think it was just called the yanja boat yeah so mm. and it's... we never realized how well things go with yanja like literally yeah like, everything goes everything goes <laughs> yeah. with it yeah. Like, yeah. You know, yeah that was 100 percent unplanned so. <laughs> the only problem is i haven't found anything that rhymes with it though yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mm. okay. yeah. 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 yeah yeah you that's the i no, think that's the recent one yeah if you go onto yeah. if you go onto youtube and just type in yeah yeah and your boat yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, so with the social media though so yeah. like going back to that so you mostly run it and like everyone puts their bits and pieces into it or like do you, do you you'll, have you'll kind of pop an idea into the group chat and yeah. then someone will just run with it and say i'll do that yeah or, okay yeah 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 like, everyone, everyone comes up with ideas basically and just says mm. is this a good idea or not how many uh, people are in the group yeah but that's the actual that, that's, that's us that's actual Six footage of, of brian miller and, yeah. and me trying to set up at the start okay, yeah. there, no there should be an actual promo video yeah, that's your promo video yeah, that's yeah, right yeah. So it goes yeah. for like four minutes i think yeah because so. that's six and a half hours yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's the stream <laughs> yeah 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 that's pretty good that it happened six and a half hour was, video yeah, yeah well what happened was um on on that on that trip everyone got off and then we we sort of stayed on stayed on the boat for an extra sort of half an hour so we thought while they're still off the boat they mm. still wanted to listen so we just yeah, carried on streaming them. yeah, yeah so, that's pretty cool um mm. yeah so, so then so for example with the bo the boat parties then is mm. it over a couple of hours or like i'll try and push it as much as possible really? yeah, yeah, just yeah, whatever, yeah whatever the letter stay on for yeah. we'll, we'll yeah. just, we'll yeah. just play <laughs> just, do you like bribe the captain be like here have yeah. a beer have a tinny <laughs> yeah it's, it's usually scheduled for about six hours is it yeah yeah, yeah okay. like we, and then if we can get another hour or so what yeah then, we'll, yeah this, that is so we'll cool. do. yeah so you know and it's just we're just trying to do diff different things you know and mm. and like above all else it's just really just have have a, have a laugh really mm. have a good that time. is so cool though seeing perf like yeah that. yeah and like everyone just everyone loved that's, it that's uh, so. that's craig there yeah that's craig there so do you ever find like you know some people are just like after because it since it goes to like six hours in the boat they're prepared for the six hours oh yeah do yeah, you ever yeah, have yeah. to like dock back or no. anything like that no so like this let's say this time so basically i think i don't know if many people have done this before i thought because we did the lineup last time i was like i can't even get my, myself on the lineup so mm -hmm. i was like oh, what we can do is do an after party mm -hmm. so we arranged that people could pay for a bus for five bucks to go from south perth to prince to prince lane yeah, okay. and then we put on a three hour after party and we didn't know how many people would turn up and like over half the boat turned up 
until like the end like and it was mm. that's it was, pretty yeah, good it was, yeah it was awesome yeah so you yeah. get many walk-ins as well from yes the yeah. Yeah. yeah and there yeah, was there was this actually. young kid like yeah. just going what style of music is this and i was like this is hard house mate like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know yeah so just welcome the music exactly <laughs> yeah it's not it's definitely not your normal prince Liam kind of vibe no no <laughs> no so uh mm. Uh, that's pretty cool that's really cool like that's awesome yeah but then it just sucks because i wish you had like footage of the raft because like the yeah. other one that looked so cool yeah oh, 24 decoy. 25 meters yeah like, the steamboat decoy. one. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, like, do you have we got footage of i don't yeah we what well, we do on the promo video the promo video of that was epic that's the the one that we did yeah because like that's a big boat that's, yeah that's not 25 meters long mm. yeah that <laughs> like, would be three if you stories, look on, if you look on our yanja beach youtube again um there should be one in there for yeah it was the yanja boat 2.1 <laughs> yeah we'll, 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 we'll take anything <laughs> yeah. that would be cool do you actually know anyone <laughs> <laughs> okay. i can walk a dog <laughs> yeah, that's it i can do it the same. Yeah. Yeah. we'll see if we can find it yeah post it on facebook <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If yo -yo free dog. drinks if you can find me one <laughs> see that is yeah, this so is, yeah, that's cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. so this is the nanas I was talking about. So the, yeah, <laughs> this is them having their high tea. So I, I had to take this, like they let me use some of their drone footage. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, this is probably like a jazz thing or something like, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but again, the owner was like super great. He let us like roll with it. And I sort of said, well, look, cause it's actually got, um, a paid, a, a licensed bar. So I was like, well, look, I was like, and I was like, mm, yeah. everyone's, everyone's going to be, well, one of them we took with us. So we, we, we actually had a, um, we've got like a, my, uh, Sean and Cassie who were very, very important to Yanja Beach as well. Yeah. They're, they've been at everything. Yeah. yeah. As well. Sean Sean's like into his home brewing, so he's got a cake system. So I said to the guy, I said, well, look, we're going to have 170 people on there. I was like, you know, we're going to have to do a token system rather than like, you know, mm. pay, paying at the bar. And can we bring like, the, like the, the cake system or upstairs? He's like, yeah, sure. That's yeah. fine. So really? Yeah. That's trying to, so trying to get that onto the boat was, was it was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 We, we both had to do the sale. Then there was a point where we were like, man, moving backwards and forwards. Yeah. It's like, this is going to go in the water, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But see, that's the thing. Cause like, usually like if you try to do that at nightclub, you cannot do that. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're still obviously along the line. Yeah, it's still yeah, it's a, in the law. Cool. There was still, there was still a guy there that had his license pouring the drinks. It was yeah. 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 Instead of people waiting da downstairs for spirits and what, uh, and beers, we were like, we'll just go upstairs and have beers. Mm. So, so do people get, quite messy sometimes but not like bad messy but just like bubbly um, joyful we have really, really tipsy we have never been issues no no, no one's really been no, out, there's they? never there's never really been any issues yeah. no, that's good that's yeah. really good but that, that's what mm. we were talking about earlier i just think it's people don't really have anything to prove and like yeah. I don't know. Mm. Obviously, you're always going to bump into a few people that have got mm. issues, but um, yeah, the, I think the older crowd just seems to be a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, yeah. they're we more did... just they're mature. They're not yeah. eighteen. Yeah, year olds. That's, like... that's it. Yeah, yeah, they're not out to try to start fights or prove anything. Yeah. It's just they just want to relax and have a good time. Mm. I remember the yeah. tunes for charity nights. So we did uh, we did a tunes for charity night. Is that so... the alarm? That's a smoke alarm yeah. night, yeah. Smoke so alarm smoke alarm, alarm night. So it's another loaded question. Yeah. We did, <laughs> we did, we did the two free events, and then we did the boat party, and then we sort of like made a bit of money, and it just felt a bit alien to us. And we mm. just felt like, well, we didn't want to then start going down the route straight straight away of like doing tickets. We're like, well, we 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 still want to give give back. So, um, so um, Craig had um a charity close to his heart based in um in south south perth called hannah's house okay so we just said to him i said look do you mind if we just raise you some money so so we so we put on tunes for charity um and a few few things happened at this event so one mm. the two weeks before it was going to come out um we went into lockdown so we were like oh no like is it going to happen blah, blah, blah. and then mm. mark mcgowan obviously brought us out of lockdown so we celebrated that by getting mark mcgowan, mark McGowan shirts shirts really? saying, yeah, like, yeah. yeah thumbs up thank you yeah um, that's all right you know and i, I to me i think the music that like, i've listened back to all like, all the sets are ours are amazing but yeah. that that night like it was and i remember like craig craig and i got on at like half past 12 and we were going until like three and i just said to craig i said i'm just gonna go straight out there and like, i'm just like just just try and make everyone just stay and like just go straight mm. through and everyone just stayed and it was just perfect mm. the only issue we had was the smoke machine which was controlled by the uh 
bar staff just seemed to stop working and they were <laughs> pressing the button. And I remember I was playing, looking down, going, what's going on? And, and like Scoey was just saying, oh, you know, I think it's, I think it's broken. And, <laughs> and everyone just sort of like g- gave up. But Scoey doesn't give up. So Scoey was manning the laser and he just went over there and pressed a couple of buttons. But what we didn't realise is it had registered every button that had been pressed. And this thing just went into it just turbo went off, mode. Yeah. Like, literally <laughs> just. And you know how long um, the sewing rooms is. Yeah. So the, the actual uh, fire alarm is in that back room, like right down the end. Right. Yeah, so you yeah, imagine literally how. You couldn't see. It was you, like. You couldn't see. The fog was like yeah. so heavy. And That's we were literally. So, yeah. And like a, a big. A big part of my life is a guy called Tony DeVitt and and I've always wanted to end on the dawn right mm. and it's a, it's pretty bang it's 145 beats per minute I'm like thinking I'm finally getting to do like something that I've always wanted to do mm. and um and now I knew I was only two away from that so Craig went to go literally to queue up his track and press the button and then all the lights come on all the music went off and we were like what's happened like, and there was no alarm <laughs> the next thing is the alarm goes off and mm. I just turn around to Scoey and yeah. go <laughs> like that. But everyone loved it and again it was just it was just it all over socials like, like yeah. you know yeah. it's just like it was that hot that even the yeah. fire brigade had to come so really the fire yeah, yeah. Had, to come. had to come yeah what time yeah. was this though when it happened? was literally 10 minutes to go uh, quarter quarter to three in the quarter morning three, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah and there were still 100 and something people in the, in, yeah, in the room so like, yeah that's so good though yeah this is everyone can't see each other yeah, it's just that yeah. <laughs> yeah. but we, i think we raised like two and a half grand sort yeah. of thing and i think it would be something that we want to probably try and do more more of is like mm. do some charity stuff as well so I have a quick question uh one of the guys comments down below i guess the guy's name um he said, I'm showing them the warehouse video. Is he talking about... Yes. Oh, video yeah, yeah. Second video? Yeah, this one here. Yeah, this is and the, your mate done this, didn't he? Um, oh yeah, uh, Tommy. Yeah. So uh, I've got a friend of mine who's started doing a little bit of promo work. Okay. Um, so he put together a promo video for us, and this is yeah, yeah Tommy. Um, Tommy the guy, his name is on Instagram, mm. um, and this is his um, his work. Yeah. So he sort of. So these, on. yeah, these are the buses that Paul was talking <laughs> about. So we had was it three buses? Yeah. Yeah, so three buses, like people just got on, didn't know where they were going, mm-hmm. started drinking. The, the live stream mm-hmm. is actually being played into the bus, mm-hmm. and then they get off the bus, and then literally like 200 people just rock up to this warehouse at <laughs> once. That is really yeah. cool. Yeah, oh, it's great. And we had lasers and function ones in there. Yeah, it was good. It was, yeah, it was mental. Yeah. It was such a good night. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, the, bu- the, that's bus the bus stop. stop. Yeah. yeah, in the bus stop, yeah. yeah. And so it literally imitates one of like the bus stops in Perth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. So this um this guy Stephen Decker um yeah he was doing the the face paints and obviously it's a UV thing so there was literally mm. like for about the first three hours of the event there was a cure Secure. on the outside of the room yeah people just waiting to get like painted up to be face painting so mm. yeah so if anyone does want any video editing work then the, yep. this is the guy to definitely speak to and so um, like do you ever have like a maximum capacity for any of the events that you throw um what was what was the do you know the capacity of that room um we would have been close. It, was, it was close yeah. yeah it was about i think it was about 200 or so yeah yeah okay so um yeah like i, I yeah like i said is i think we, we're, we're more we like the the sort of intimate settings not going too big yeah sort, sort of thing you know and even with doing metro rooftop like i think i, I think we could have like a maximum of like f- maybe four or five hundred up there but we don't mm-hmm. want it to be I know it sounds weird. Yeah, shoulder to shoulder. You know, right? because there's these added things that we can drop if it's not too busy as well. Mm. So it's like, I can't give it away yet. Yeah, that's you know, right. Yeah. But, mm. um, but would you ever wanted to grow your brand into being able to do like, you know, a thousand person venue, but have 700 people in there or 600 people in there? I've, I, I, I'm going to say no. Yeah. Um, mm. Like maybe it's like a, a one off thing. Like mm. maybe you could do like, about one one event of a year yeah. but it's it's i don't know it, it it feels it feels good to interact and know everyone and yeah you know, it's you know. a real it is the one thing that's strong that we we had a mm. catch up recently to talk about um how things are going mm. and one of the things that came up through all of the the djs was like the community mm. like the the yantabees community is like a really strong thing like if you look at the events that we've had like we've got this little hub of people that just come and it's like I think that's the the really good thing that makes it such a you know such a success yeah mm-hmm. is because everybody knows everybody and it's i guess mm-hmm. it's with perth as well is it's not a huge um it's not a huge scene but everybody mm-hmm. at Beats is always there um mm-hmm. and it's nice when you i think if you grow too fast or you mm-hmm. you throw something too big you yeah, kind of lose you a bit can of that fizzle out yeah, almost yeah you lose a bit of that we, we, we were going to give out a couple of tickets yeah oh yeah for the events i don't yeah. know if there's anyone 
out there that hasn't got tickets yet. No. Yeah. So, Have we got um, any more comments as well? Oh, that's scary. I know um, his name is uh, Craig Forsyth. Oh, there oh, he yeah. is. Yeah. Craig. <laughs> He's been doing guys. He asked, "What's your favorite number for today?" <laughs> so, um, seven, 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 seven. 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 So yeah. then something happened in the, <laughs> something something in the football happened like last night. So we're yeah. both Liverpool fans. So <laughs> yeah. and, and they beat United seven nil. Seven nil. <laughs> Their worst defeat yeah. in ninety two years. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah. Seven yeah. nil. That's yeah, it's, nuts. It's, been, it's been a good day. Do you know what I will? David Martin, so I'm sorry. Oh, yes. You got the bill? Yes. No, no. I've actually. No, no, no. No, So, what I did, I played. No, I played a joke here. It wasn't that bad. So, what I did to these two is make it look worse. And then they was like, and I was like, how does the picture look? And they were like, yeah, it's fine. And I was like, I pulled a face. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, holy shit. (laughs) So, was it painful having Bell palsy? Or anything, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it was just like, just yeah. droop. So it looks like you're having a stroke. And do you know what? It's like, I actually then started to do research in yeah, it, so not research. Got, um, Kai yeah. Albert. Oh, so. Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Yeah. Um, and I, I, well, after I got it, I sort of, I realised I have to look into it. And that was the worst thing to do. You know, when you've got a medical condition, <laughs> don't look into it. Yeah. Um, like but yeah, like you, you just, you can't, you can't blink in one eye as well. Um, it was a little bit painful, I guess, but. Oh, sorry, everyone, Matthew Schofield and Carly Murray are both said SpongeBob, SpongeBob. Oh, SpongeBob. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> SpongeBob. Okay, so. <laughs> what? Okay. This was Scoey, wasn't it? Uh, this was Scoey, yes. Yeah. was Scoey. So, um, so Scoey used to watch square bob sponge pants whoever it is i don't even know who it SpongeBob is bob square pants like for whatever reason he, he loves he loves he loves the cartoon or whatever it is right so when i was in nice on on a holiday once i saw in a blow up inflatable one of these things i thought oh you know i'll buy one and bring it back for him and give it to him <laughs> right so he's rocked up so if you come to a yandra beats event you you know we have like inflatable kangaroos everywhere mm. you should see how many we've spent on these things everyone just nicks them right so, <laughs> yeah. right? so yeah. and i always say who's got these things and no one ever says it yeah they're just like no. so yeah so we actually took it to the he brought it to the first one and said well can he be involved too mm. so he's been to every single one like mm. he's he's got it's like an icon it's almost yeah. it's all yeah there it is yeah it, it's like, almost um, there it is it's almost like a logo. It's not quite, but it's like probably yeah. on par. <laughs> and you know what? It's really hard to find these things because you'd think that we would have found these by now and brought brought them to an event, wouldn't you? Yeah. But they're really hard to find them. So but is I... it actually that big? No, no. It's, it's about 20, 24-ish inches. So. Okay. Yeah, so James Gallagher from The Sopranos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if, say, for example, if we did manage to find these, do you reckon anyone would buy them? Yes. What SpongeBob? Oh, yeah, pro- yeah, probably. Yeah. It had nothing to do with the kangaroo or Yanji. Like, all we do is like... we just add things to it, like you know, <laughs> the random things. There'd be people that will turn up on Saturday, not a clue what's going on. They'd just be like, "What is this?" Yeah, <laughs> you know? that's yeah. it. So, yeah. yeah. So we've only got about six minutes left. Okay. So okay. the event's happening next Saturday. This Saturday. Uh, this Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then how much are tickets? They've just moved over to final release, so 35 bucks. 35 bucks? Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. So, and that can be, you can be, I'm hoping six till three ish, three, mm-hmm. four. Just whenever the kicker's out. Yeah. <laughs> really. We'll go on to um, the kicker's We do have a guest turning up that no one knows about. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, okay. we will we will keep that one quiet. So, yep. Yeah. For now. And so. so, who is on the lineup so far? Right. Um, yeah, so we got so, uh so the, myself's opening i think um yep. time oral is on after yep. me yep um after time oral, i think it's kyle and albert isn't it yep yep uh then you've got yourself and, and craig, craig yeah yes. um as, and as, then as we've got beats, um so. graham miller who's going to close for us yeah and then yeah, mystery sure. yeah, and then mystery, the mystery. Yep. yeah yep. nice yep. very nice and yep. we always like to try and keep everyone guessing a bit yeah, yeah. that's the way to do it yeah yeah adds yeah. yeah. that level extra level of excitement yeah so yeah there will be a few more announcements this week so just, and then where can people find you and how can they buy the tickets and everything um well we should oh, hopefully really we should be splashed everywhere i mean <laughs> like you know <laughs> our, our social spread is huge so yeah. um but yeah like literally just anywhere on our yandra beach site we're through megatix at the moment um so yeah and megatix is good to work with but to better just make it happen yeah yeah pretty yeah. much yeah yeah okay yeah Instagram page. we do have yeah yeah, yeah, Andrew Beats there. So, and um, will you be selling shirts? There? Yes. Yeah, merch. Yeah, That's yeah, a good shot. yeah. So we've also got some merch. So um, we've also, again, um, we've got someone else that's 
sort of um, passionate in the music scene as well, um, Chev, um, and she she also runs her own sort of like fa- like sort of like kids events as well. Okay. And she was and she's also a designer, so we were like, do you want to help us design some like merch? So we're going to roll out some some caps and beanies. Um, some stubby holders and a few other Sweet. little twerky things. And so it would just be like a stall on the, the li- side? A little stall there, yeah. yeah. Okay. And you can, you know, you can, possible, you can buy some. Yeah, we take, we yeah. take anything. Yeah. No, that's yeah. sweet. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, and it gives her, obviously gives her the opportunity to get involved as well. So yeah, yeah, yeah. she's loving that actually. She can see all of her socials. She's loving it. Yeah. 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 yeah you know, and she, again, it's all, it's, it's just trying to help out as many people as possible really like mm. i said is that you know it's a sharing like music's a sharing thing and it should be mm. the same as running an event really mm. you know? and how many inflatable kangaroos have you bought <laughs> that's that's the real oh, question i'll tell you that yeah. tell, i think i think it's i have to be careful what i told the missus and what i've actually yeah. done no no i'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. No, no i think i think we've got thir- i think it's like 30 or something 30 so, or yeah so yeah. how many because if we're on a rooftop then how many of those will be down on the road? <laughs> that's it <laughs> and and if like anyone's smart balls. go down on the road at yeah, metro and just, just stay there and then just <laughs> And, the, and then just wait, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and it's also going to be funny with obviously with Carl and Albert coming. What they're gonna obviously what, what Ralph's gonna expect when when he comes and sees he's be like, yeah. there's all these kangaroos and stuff from now. So I think he sort of understands. <laughs> he, saw, he saw the promo videos. So he, he did. Probably, yeah, he's, he's, he's gonna, gonna, he's gonna, gonna understand. It. Yeah, yeah. So no, that's so, awesome. Yeah. No, really, really looking forward to it. And like I said, mm. is that we're passionate about the journey of music. So um, you mm. know and. It's, it's, it's going to be good. Mm. Yeah, from all the content and everything we've looked at, it does look really <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be, it's, there's a lot of Africa's in behind the scenes, so it's it's going to be good. It always yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. And especially, as we said, it's like every 10 weeks throwing an event. Mm. Instead yeah. of just being monthly or something, and yeah. just trying to yeah. make it work all the time. Yeah. So. yeah. And we always have the next event released for the current event. So mm. we should be able to announce that one on on Sunday, so like the day afterwards. Sort of yeah, thing. okay. Mm. Yeah. Do you have anything as well to add, Damon? Oh, I just wanted to bring up this. It, I found this like three minutes, like a minute just after we finish it, but it does. The winter solstice does align with the Stone Age. There you go. Yeah, we can. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's crazy. I knew you had the connection. <laughs> yeah, no, it would be random if it yeah, wasn't. I know, I'm it? glad. I'm glad you did that. Thanks. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Right. I'm glad an opportunity to bring it busted out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Cheers so much, guys, for coming on. Cool. Right, well, thanks. Thanks for having us. This yeah. has been a really yeah. good intro video to get back into the swing of this. Honestly. Cool. Because cool, yeah, cool. it's like we had such a long break for a while, and like moving into this and setting this up, and then we actually yeah. forgot to give out any tickets. Oh, the tickets! Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> give out the tickets. <laughs> yeah, the people still watching. Well, who's in there? Who's 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 in, who's, who's in the chat at the moment? That... Yeah, if you're in the chat, in the chat literally uh, the Marcel first, the first. Grant, Marcel Grant has mm. just commented. Yeah, said good interview, lads. Yep. Um, All right. So wait. Levin Martin probably still in there, and uh, Craig Forsyth and Gethin James Sullivan. Yeah. He's also commented, hey crew, Alistair Horsfall, mm-hmm. oh, Legends. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're getting like a lot of, uh, yeah, everyone, Lisa Triplets had just pulled the fire alarm. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's <laughs> it. Just pulled the alarm. Well, well, Marcel, if you want a ticket, well, you know, you can, yeah. you can, you can come along. I think Geffen's busy, but I think Geffen as well. So, yeah, yeah. cool. But, Done. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. yeah. All right. There you guys, you guys cool. got two free tickets. So. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Sweet. Yeah. All right, well, cool. cheers so much for that. That's all I mean, right. honestly, we'll get you back on next year or sometime soon or yeah. whatever. Yeah, right? like, yeah, yeah, we'd be happy to come along, yeah. you know. We'll be flying in. And from, I must admit, this, room, in from this somewhere. room's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. <laughs> cheers. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. it's good. Yeah, no, it's yeah. a wicked setup. Yeah. yeah, and that's why we were so keen to come on here, because, like, you guys obviously doing sort of similar to what we're doing, like trying to promote the local scene and everything that's like it, that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so keep so keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Well, we're, we're so isolated, we're so small, and yeah. it's yeah. like you know, get you people's word out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, For like, sure. you know, one of the reasons why we started this is because like, it's just you see people's DJ pages, and it's just mm. them standing on stage, but you don't mm. really know who they are. Yeah. Mm. You just see them playing music, and yeah. you don't you don't get to see the actual real side of them. Yeah. yeah. So it's actually being yeah. able to go like you know you guys throw <laughs> cool events. Yeah. Let's see what you guys are actually like. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Two cool chill blokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. So yeah, cheers for that. Yeah, and cheers. Then, um, no worries. We will see you next week. We haven't booked any guests yet, but yeah. I'm gonna be doing like mm. next two three months of booking. So nice. If you oh, guys... actually, another shout out as well because we've got there's there's four promoters doing a um a charity night the night before ours as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's concept so... and uh, it's, it's oh it's, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah I saw that I yeah. don't. I don't know exactly who's involved in it though. Yeah, there's, I think there's four. It's, it's at the, you know, the old Ambar 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Vault. Is yeah, it the yeah, vault? The vault, vault. Yeah, yeah, yeah the you vault. can get out yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. it's. Um, I think I think half of it's going towards charity and stuff like that. There's four promoters all, all yeah, pitching yeah. together. So yeah, try and get behind that as well. But if you guys yeah. know any DJs or if anyone watching wants mm -hmm. to come on here, just hit us up and we'll get you on. Honestly. Yeah, cool. Because yeah. it's you know anybody and everybody really. Yeah, we probably say something to buy all my boys as well. Yeah. Yep. Anyone good that can working. have a good yarn, I'm down to hang yeah. out yeah. with them. So. Cool. No, <laughs> cool. 100%. Yeah. All so, right. Did you pull out the vault? Yeah. Pulling it up. Yeah. The promo. Yeah, promo. I think that's it. Yeah, the promo. promo I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. it. Yeah, that's that is it. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So get down to that night before, but obviously then come to our event as well. The yeah. Day, so. <laughs> yeah that's it. Don't wear yourself out, yeah. Friday. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah, yeah go event. easy. Yeah, go <laughs> easy. But, uh, All right. Yeah. Well, cheers so much, guys. Yeah. And then cool. we'll probably see you on Saturday. So. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Come down. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next week. And then Damo makes us wave at the camera so people know it's yeah. ended. <laughs> Sorry, catch you guys. Thanks, man. Right. Cheers. That's it.